What's going on everyone? Welcome back to your favorite channel on YouTube. This is Eddie Wright Barbecue and I am your amazing host, Eddie Wright. Special thanks to Grills of Mississippi for letting me use the kitchen classroom today. Make sure you go check them out this weekend for their brisket class. It's sure to be nothing less than amazing. Today, we're taking the task of seeing just how far we can take the new Blackstone air fryer griddle combo that we picked up last week. Using only fresh ingredients, we're going to see if we can put together the best bacon cheddar fry combo possible. Here we have our ingredients. A bag of fresh potatoes, some Velveeta shreds, and a little rice, bacon, and ranch dressing. We start by slicing three large potatoes into basically french fry cuts. The reason we are taking on this task is that we want to offer the freshest food possible during our concessions and using no grease, it's just icing on the cake. So being able to air fry fresh potatoes, I felt this was worth the challenge of trying to figure out the process. We got our air fryer up to temp to about 425 before we started. So during this time, the entire basket was getting nice and up to temp. Not that that's necessary, but we thought it would be awesome to do. After getting our fries broken down, we washed them up, drained them, and hit them with a little duck fat before placing them into the air fryer. All right, we're out here with the air fryer. We've got it on high right now. We're gonna take it down to a uh, mid-level. It's gonna be 375 to 425. See there on the label. We're gonna toss these fries into our two cookers, warmers the third basket, and we're gonna get them started. All right, so let's get to it. I'm gonna pull the basket out. I'm gonna try to hold the camera and do all this at one time. So wish me luck. All right, our second ingredient in our bacon cheddar fries is gonna be bacon. So we have a little bit of our favorite bacon. This just happens to be right. Gonna take a couple strips, gonna put it here on the flat top griddle on the black stone. Gonna get them cooking. Then we're gonna chop them down, get us some nice bacon bits out of it. All right, so let's go. All right, our bacon's pretty much done. We're gonna go ahead, kill the heat, let it render down a little bit more, pull it off, let it cool down, break it down in little pieces, have us some bacon bits, top off our fries. All right, it's been about 10, almost 12 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and pull our fries, put them in a bowl, get ready to get some season on them. So let you guys see what we got. Keep in mind, these fries were sprayed with duck fat. Make sure that we got them nice and crispy on the outside. Looks good. One more basket. All 
All right, gonna go ahead and cut the heat. And there we have it, guys. Fresh fries, fresh potatoes, washed, sprayed with duck fat. We're gonna go ahead while the heat's on, get some toppings on. I'll let you guys see the ending results. After getting everything done, it was time to assemble. I decided to season up the fries with a little sea salt, some Creole seasoning, some black pepper, and gave it a toss. After that, we chopped up our bacon and added it to the mix. And although it would have been better on top, we decided to just add it to the entire mix. Awesome. From there, we hit it with a little cheese, some fresh ranch, and boom! An amazing taste and composition that any griddler or grill master can put together in under an hour with the right equipment. And the equipment today was the Blackstone Griddle Air Fryer Combo. Way to go, Blackstone. Until next time, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And if you feel comfy, join the Patreon and become a member of the cookout. Links in the description. Until then, keep smoking. And always remember, you too can do amazing barbecue the right way. See you next time.